The Create as Applied Data Tool in SMS allows data sets to be separated into multiple products or operations in the management tree. This tool should be used on data logged as a single load or region, but where they implement contained more than one product or applied multiple operations, for example, planting while applying fertilizer or planting multiple hybrids in the same path. This tutorial will go through setting the products and rate and splitting your data into multiple swath widths and multiple operations. To begin, right-click on the data set, operational instance, product, or operation level in the management tree that you want to edit and select Create as Applied Data. In the Create as Applied Data Settings dialog, you will select if you are assigning based on logs sections or creating sections for the data and assigning products. You will use assign based on log sections if the data logged was with multiple sections and you only need to reassign the originally logged products. By selecting create sections for data and assign products, you can split data that wasn't recorded with multiple sections and assign products to those sections. For this first set of data, we are using what was logged as multiple sections, and we want to reassign the products to those sections. So we will select Assign Based on Log Sections. Click OK. Here, you will assign the products for each section by selecting the sections on the left and select the product name in the middle and click Add. Repeat until all sections are assigned. Then click OK. In the management tree, you will find the products you assigned and the original data set. Next, we will walk through the create sections for the data and assign products. After selecting the data that you would like to edit and selecting Create as Applied Data, in the Create as Applied Data Settings dialog, select Create Sections for the data and assign products. Then select the number of unique swaths you would like to create. We will be making two unique sections. Click OK. Here, you will select the new operation you want to create from the original layer and apply rate units. In the swath width type, you have the option to either apply the sections to the full swath, partial swath, or manual swath width. You will use full swath width if you want to use the original swath logged on the monitor, and it will be divided into the number of split sections selected. Manual swath will be used if you want to override the log swath with a manually entered one. This option is especially useful for when you need to define sections of varying swaths, such as a 12 row planter, where the splits are at eight and four rows. Partial swath width is used if the log data was set and logged for only a partial swath. This setting will double the values and make the data appear as if it was logged as a full swath. Next, you will enter the manual swath if the manual swath was selected as a swath width type. Then, enter the number of segments with the number of swath sections that you want created from the total swath width. This should be the number of products or varieties in the planter with a maximum of four. If the application offset was different from the original data, you can enter the offset with the front back application offset. Click next. In the split planter swath settings, you will select the section on the planter graphic to assign the settings. Start by entering a dataset name and product for each side of the planter. Next, set the swath section width for each side of the planter. If full or partial swath was selected in the previous window, then the only option you will have is automatic. If manual swath was selected, 
then enter the appropriate swath width. In the set applied rate selection, you will have different options to set depending on the type of data. If site verification is the source of the data, you will have the option of entering a manual rate for the left or right side of the planter. If applied data was the type of data, you will have both use log data and enter manual rate available. Once all sections have been defined, click finish. After processing the data, the original data set will no longer be located in the same spot in the management tree. You will now have new data sets using the settings that were defined in the As Applied Data tool. Now you will be able to use the Create As Applied Data tool. If you would like to see more tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.